a bag contains n sweets. Of these, four are red coloured and the rest are green coloured. Two sweets are going to be taken at random from the bag and eaten. The probability that the bag will then contain n minus 6 green sweets is 5 18ths. Work out the value of n showing clearly all your working. Now one way to attempt this problem is to draw a tree diagram like you normally would with a probability question. So in the first choice we're going to get a red sweet and a green sweet. Now the probability of getting a red is 4 but we don't know how many are in the bag so we'll just let that be n because there are n sweets in the bag. Now here because there are we've taken 4 we now have n minus 4 over n sweets of the probability of getting a green. Now for the second choice, having got a red one, we can get a red and a green. This one will be 3, but they're now, uh, because you haven't put back the first one, they're now n minus 1. And this one, there will still be n minus 4 over n minus 1. Having got a green the first time round, we can get a red and a green the second time round. So this one will be uh, 4, because there will still be 4 cause, uh, re uh, red ones out of n minus 1. But this one will now be, now because you've taken 1, there will now be 1 more less. So this will now become n minus 5 over n minus 1. Now this is one that we're interested in. We're told the probability of the bag will then contain n minus 6. Green sweets is 5 18. So if we do this selection here, we will only have n minus 6 green sweets left. So these two probabilities multiplied together must be equal to 5 18. So after this possibility, there are only n minus 6 green sweets, which has a probability of 5 18. So we can now form an equation. So because we know this times this must be equal to 5 18. So the probability of a green and a green is n minus 4. 4 over n, this one, times n minus 5 over n minus 1, and that has to be equal to 5 18 So we now got an equation in n which we can need to solve. So we'll need to solve n minus 4 over n times n minus 5 over n minus 1 is equal to 5 18 Okay, so cross multiplying, we're going to get 18 times n minus 4 times n minus 5 is equal to 5 times n, n minus 1. Uh, so to solve this, uh, it's going to become a quadratic, so we need to expand the bracket. So we'll do n times n minus 5 minus 4 times n minus 5. This side will become 5n squared minus 5n. Just dealing a bit with the inner bracket first, we're going to have 18, then we're going to have n squared minus 5n minus 4n plus... 20 minus minus gives plus 20 is equal to 5n squared minus 5n. We now multiply, uh, sorry, collect the two like terms together. So we get uh, n squared minus 9n plus 20. Still got the 18 there. And we've still got 5n squared minus 5n. Multiplying through by 18, we're going to get 18n squared minus 162n plus uh, 360 is equal to 5n squared minus 5. Now, to solve a quadratic, you put it equal to 0. So we're going to have, uh, taking away 5n squared, we're going to get 13n squared. Take Adding 5n to both sides, we're going to get minus 157n plus 360 is equal to 0. So this is our quadratic. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, divide down for by uh, 13. Now, we know that n must be an integer, so this would actually factorise this quadratic, but it might be easier to use the quadratic formula. So it doesn't matter plugging the numbers in. So x is minus b, so it's minus minus 157, plus or minus minus 157 squared. Make sure you put this into brackets. Minus 4 times 13 times 360, all over 2a. So working slowly, that will give me 157. The square root of all this is 5,929 over 26. So we get 157. This the square root of that is 77 over 26. So we're going to get either 157 minus 77 over 26, which gives 40 over 13. Well, this is not possible in this situation because n has to be an integer. It represents the number of sweets in the bag. So we just reject that. Or that n is equal to 9 when you do 157 plus 77 over 20, 
six. Maybe make sure you're using the fraction button on your calculator. Okay, so this has been a video to, to uh, find the number of bags in a number of sweets in a bag using probability and then forming and solving a quadratic equation to solve it. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.